I was reading a book by a guy who used to be in a secret society named Kevin Trudeau, not to be confused with Canada's hero, Justin Trudeau, and I used the word hero and replace a scumbag, but he talked about how dark occult members would place these conscious forms up in the collective for spiritual people to pick up on as if they were divinely guided messages and spread those messages to help with the agenda. Now, what's the agenda? Well, there's beings that have negative intentions that are controlling all the governments. And when you have control, the last thing you want is, is change, right? This is why there is a war on men's testosterone. All these products are lowering the testosterone in men. And I started to think, I started to ask myself, I'm like, because personally I see so many BS teachings in the spiritual community, what is one that to me is definitely one of these spiritual implants, these viruses that this Kevin Trudeau guy is talking about? And for me, I think it's what the divine masculine should represent. You know, there's a lot of people in the spiritual community that are saying the divine masculine is unfazed by his surroundings. He's calm and never reacts and all this kind of stuff. And it got me thinking, you know, when I look at one of these quote unquote divine masculine men on planet earth that are unaffected by their surroundings and don't get emotional, I kind of get the energy of a neutered dog. And if I was in control of everything and didn't want an uprising, I would want men to think that in order for them to fit into their spiritual quota or shoe, whatever, that you have to be unaffected and unfazed by your surroundings. And this is one of the biggest lies they teach you about Jesus is they put out that he lived a perfect life simply so that you would never get angry and uprise against the atrocities that are happening against humanity. And this is what I think they're trying to push with this, how the divine masculine man should be unaffazed and unemotional. Well, I have a question for you. Has there ever been a time in history where a man started a crusade? Or has there ever been a time in history where a man who actually brought change to this world was not passionate, was not emotional about the things that he thought was right? Just something to think about. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.